it like this is what I don't understand okay so like some of these words like love compassion how is that like a level five word like that should be one of the first things you learn right you know your everyday usage of words and stuff like when yeah because every day I use broad leaved epiphylum yeah okay and that's in the same vocab set as like proud and love and compassion like honestly description scp-3456 are a group of quadrupeds resembling horses and other equine. so i just spent like 15 minutes talking to the camera and then i deleted it because it was like just rambly and well we know that i can ramble okay exhibit a my entire channel but like you know, it was just like exceptionally weird and whatever. So I, I felt like I couldn't get to like a concise point. So I'm just gonna like try again and try and like whittle it down. But anyway, right now, um, I'm sorry that you guys are always seeing me like in this space, this setting, like always sitting at my desk on my computer. Um, but it's just like, I'm so busy now. And that's like, I live here. Like I live in this exact spot. Oh, I look like a little like, like my shoulders are look like huge, and then my head looks like a tiny little bead or something. Whatever. I told you guys that I submitted my one of the drafts for my thesis to my advisors, who are helping me kind of like get things together and make sure that I don't like miss any of the points that I need to and whatever. I had told you also a while back, I think that towards the end of the semester we have like a checkpoint like presentation thing yeah so i'm working on the powerpoint for that i don't have to write anything new it's like everything that i've already submitted and like I, and when i say submitted i mean loosely like i've not given anything for grades this is just for like editing so i'm not writing anything new for this um i'm just kind of putting like a summary of what i've written into a specific format for this presentation to check in on where i am in writing my thesis and where i am in my paintings past couple days I've just, like, I don't know if it's like, if it's because I'm especially stressed, like maybe it's a hormonal thing. I don't know if I'm just like overly sensitive for whatever reason, but like, I've just been like feeling really down. Specifically, really discouraged and like with my own abilities, like that kind of thing. Like I'm not getting anywhere. Like I'm not good at anything. Okay, let me start off by saying like, you guys who watch my videos and comment or like reach out to me through whatever are like so supportive and so positive about, you know, what I'm doing and what I have done and whatever. So I'm not like, I'm not trying to fish for compliments, you know? Like this is just like a feeling that struck me and I've been talking about it with like my friends and family like over text but like I want to talk about it verbally because for some reason talking sometimes just helps and it's it's different than like typing it on my phone. As you know, I don't really have anybody to talk to in person here, so the camera is the closest thing. I don't even know exactly how it started or why, but I start feeling every once in a while like my paintings are not very good like maybe maybe that there's nothing special about my paintings more so so my brain goes through this thing it's like it's like yeah but like you have this really cool opportunity like you came all the way to china like on this professor's recommendation and it's like so it's like the devil and the angel are on my shoulder and they're like talking you know and then so the angel says that and the devil's like that was like yeah but like you weren't handpicked the professor that sent you me the professor that sent me here he probably just wanted like any kind of opportunity to have a relationship with this university and with the dean of the university that i'm at now and i basically volunteered hunger games did it and was like yeah i'll do it i have like certain things backing that up in my mind like i even said in this vlog that i think it was this vlog or last vlog that my you know what i've written so far for my thesis was like really well received and it, and it was but like it doesn't necessarily reflect anything about like my artwork and then i start i'm like well well people here like my art so like that's that's good and i'm like yeah but do they really though or do they like the fact that it's different um and it, it, is it like in the same vein as like things that i do just because i'm an outsider are 
interesting. Probably no one actually really likes what I'm doing. They're just like putting on a little bit of a show or something. I don't know, does this make sense? And then I started thinking about my hobbies and I'm like, wow, I'm like any of the hobbies that I've been trying, I'm like really not good at. And then it comes to like studying and I've already said like studying is a huge thing with me, like with my test, I just finished the curriculum for HSK5 recently and I'm looking back on the stuff like reviewing and I'm like, I don't remember any of this. <laughs> I'm like, wow, I'm, I'm stupid on top of it. So I'm untalented, I'm like unworthy. I don't deserve like any of the recognition or the opportunities <clears throat> or the support that I've gotten. And on top of it, I'm dumb. I don't know, I've been feeling that way. And like I said, I don't want anyone to like, don't think of that as I'm like asking for you guys to like give me whatever, like tell me that I'm doing really great or that I'm like, you know, you guys already do that. It's just my own like self doubt. So that's what I've been crying about for the past two days. That's that. Like, I don't know. I don't know what else to say now. Yeah. So anyway, I was gonna go see Frozen and I put it off because I had too much work to do. Um, so I'm thinking that if I don't go, cause today's Friday. So um, if I don't go this weekend, maybe I'll go after my presentation on Tuesday. so far what I talked to you guys about probably in the last vlog um, about how like I have way more paintings than a lot of my classmates I didn't talk to my advisor about that but it was actually something she brought up when she was talking to the group she's like how come Callie like has her paper pretty much written she's over like the needed number of characters and she has the most paintings when she's only there twice twice a week. And she's like, I know she goes dancing, like I know she does all this other stuff and she still has time. So I am treating myself to a movie. The movie doesn't start in probably like 45 minutes, but yeah, so I think I'm just gonna get like a drink or something. Yeah, and I'm just gonna hang out and, oh, I don't know if I said, I'm watching Frozen 2. No, this is like the first time I've been like really out of the house for something other than school in like weeks. I don't know, even though it's raining and it's miserable, I just felt like it was something I wanted to do, you know? I look I don't know I feel like recently past couple days I've still not been feeling very great I've had headaches really like my, my stomach's been off I don't know whatever but yesterday was um, a pretty nice day so yesterday was Saturday and I decided well I was invited but I decided to go with like my advisors wanted to like hang out yesterday we went to the provincial museum of Guizhou and I've been to one of them before but it's not the one that I've been to so I don't know if this is a newer one or if it's like um updated but one of one of them mentioned that there were two of them but I like didn't in the context of what we were talking about it like didn't make sense at the time but I'm like oh there's probably another one of these museums then one of the professors lives like within walking distance of the museum so we went back to her house she's got a beautiful home and she made us dinner um, and it was, you know, whatever, and we were gonna go see a movie, but then, like, the Ikea that's in Guiyang just, like, opened recently, pretty close to her house, so we were all just kind of like, do you guys want to go to Ikea? So <laughs> we all went to Ikea. Um, I bought a couple things, not big things, because, like, I'm trying to move out of here, as you guys know, but I did also buy locks 
for my English muffins with cream cheese, so that's really nice. But yeah, so I'm gonna eat, and then I'm gonna take some ibuprofen, and then I'm going to get some work done for today. So another boring kind of just like, I took yesterday off and like, I took Friday off because you know, I went to the movie and stuff and I just like, I have to get back to work now. So I'm gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> 